Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend made a noise in the royal family Cressida Bonus broke the terrible silence at the decision of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry resigned as a senior member of the royal family. Cressida Wentworth Stanley, born Cressida Curzon Bonus the 18th of February 1989, is an English actress and model. Bonus has been called a knit girl. She was introduced to Prince Harry by Princess Eugenie in May 2012 on the 30th of April 2014. It was reported that the couple had separated amicably. In May 2018, she was a guest at the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Many people know that the pressure and the cruelty of royal life is an official member of the royal family. Perhaps that was the reason for the breakup of this British couple. The same problem obviously creates problems for Meghan and Harry. But the pair have remained on friendly terms over the years, with Cressida even attending Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in 2018. And now Cressida, who is an actress and also has her own podcast called Fear Itself, has broken her silence on Harry and Meghan's decision to part ways with the royal family. The star of UK network ITV's new crime drama White House Farm says she is frustrated at always being asked about her relationship with Prince Harry, and wants to move on with that part of her life. When asked if she empathized with Meghan and the scrutiny she has received by the press, Cressida responded, I wouldn't take a position on that because it would be a headline. Also out of respect. It feels like a long time ago. When it comes up it feels strange because I'm in a different place. Since Harris breakups from both Cressida and another ex, Chelsea Davy, whom he dated on and off between 2004 and 2010, we've learned that it was the brutal public and media spotlights, plus the intense obligations required as a partner of the prince, that ultimately led to the end of both these relationships. In fact, it is believed that one of the key reasons why Chelsea Davy split with Harry was the spectacle that was Prince William and Duchess Catherine's wedding in 2011. That was supposedly the nail in the coffin. A friend revealed that the grandeur and magnanimity of the royal family made Chelsea convinced that she and Harry had a reason to break up. Royal biographer Angela Levine writes, Cressida took the above theory as a similar experience. According to another respected royal writer Katie Nicholl, the British actress was spooked by the amount of attention on William and Kate, particularly apparent during their 2013 tour of New Zealand and Australia. Cressida had been completely spooked while watching TV coverage of William, Kate and George touring New Zealand and Australia that spring, Katie penned. There was no way she wanted that sort of attention and she told Harry so. She is engaged to her partner Harry Wentworth Stanley, and forging ahead with her promising acting career. Though it hasn't always been smooth sailing for the daughter of 60s at girl Lady Mary Gay Curzon and entrepreneur Geoffrey Bonnes. Cressida told ES Magazine that she was afraid of failure at the start of her acting career, a struggle which inspired her to create a podcast about fear and failing. It came from thinking about fear in my own life, how it has held me back but also pushed me forward, she said of her side project. I have anxious thoughts and I was afraid of failure. I started writing these fears in a journal and thought it would be interesting to make a recording about them, talking to people about fear and how it can motivate them. And the woman who made her film debut in now disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein's 2017 movie Tulip Fever. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.